A couple of weeks ago, I uploaded an episode of I Build Your Silly Redstone Ideas, and at the end of that episode, I said that every single time I do one of these, someone challenges me to create a self-building redstone contraption, and every time I get one of those challenges, I can't work out how on earth I'm going to do it. So I decided to challenge you guys to build them for yourselves, and I honestly didn't expect anyone to take on the challenge. I thought no one was going to do it, but I was wrong. And I gotta say, it's probably been one of my best decisions yet in terms of the challenges because I've been sat back looking at some of the submissions in sheer amazement at what people are managing to create. The first one comes from Opposec and this is the self-building 4x4 volt door. Now I'm very proud of my 4x4 volt door. You know, I, I always bang on about it because it's probably one of my favorite redstone contraptions I've created on my YouTube channel. But just watch this. Watch this. Look, so we get we get this going on, and then look, <laughs> the redstone just comes in from the walls. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know where to begin with this thing. And the amazing thing about this is, is that, look, the walls close up behind this redstone contraption as well. So it's kind of, it all fits in, all fits in in this area and it looks great it looks fantastic you have this this beautiful presentation here and there we go i think i think that's all of the redstone in place so this has all been fully built up obviously we've got a lot of observers we've got a lot of fence posts in here we've got a lot of pistons and sticky pistons if we hit this button we can see that the door opens up and it's not even slow it's a fast fast 4x4 piston door look we can close it and you know what, if that's not good enough, okay, if that isn't good enough, something that surprised me even more is the fact that we've got a button on this side, that's all impressive, but we also have an input on the other side. That totally works as well. <laughs> it's just, it's totally ridiculous. Oh, wow, I mean, it, yeah, okay. Very, very impressive. As I say, links to all of these videos will be down in the description. Let's move on to the next one. So this next build comes from R2BE Eaton, and they actually submitted a number of different redstone contraptions to this contest, which is brilliant. And this, this was my personal favorite. It is the self-building flying machine. So we hit this button right here, and we should begin to see Some redstone going on. So we've got some moving of things. We've got some bits and pieces happening. And there we go. There it is constructed. And there we go. It takes off. It's now flying. But the cool thing about these self-building flying machines is that this machine kind of has like a magazine of them. Okay, so you can see all of these pistons here. You can see all of these observers here. And all of these sticky pistons, these observers, everything like that. There's a, there's a bunch of different flying machines stored inside this thing. So if we hit this button again, we should see that everything will kick into gear once more and we will get ourselves another flying machine. So here it goes. There are the blocks. They get pushed down. And then there we have another flying machine. So there's our original one. And then look, we've just built another flying machine that's flying straight after it. This is genuinely useful. This is like a genuinely useful redstone contraption, and there are a decent number. Now, one thing that's really interesting about this is I'm curious as to how he is separating those slime blocks from one another. It looks like it's to do with some pushing back and forth going on, and then something pops down from the top and kind of breaks off the slime block from the other ones. But there we go, there's a third one. There is, this is, this is a genuinely useful redstone contraption. I never thought I'd be saying that in a self-building redstone contraption contest, but, I mean, this is fantastic. And before someone goes down to the comments section and says that this one shouldn't count because it involves command blocks, these command blocks aren't actually connected up to the circuitry. All they do is refill all of the pistons and observers and things like that so that if you run out of them, say you build tons upon tons of flying machines and you've actually run out of pistons and observers, you can replace them easily using the commands. So they're not actually being used. Anyway, this next redstone contraption is created by Daviator and I have to say I was really impressed by the redstone video that they made. It was interesting, it used a replay mod showing all sorts of different angles of the contraption actually working. But the way that this thing functions is we need to place in observers, then we need to place in some logs in this area right here. We need to place in a redstone lamp, a 
fence gate, and then another observer in this slot, and then I guess... Oh, we need to place in a sticky piston. So that goes in there, and then I think we're ready to kickstart the machine. I'm fairly certain I've filled in all of the holes. So if we hit this button, we should see in this area. This is like the building zone. If we try our best to watch what's going on here... Okay, there is some stuff, and, and there it is! It's just built, and we have got ourselves... A working... Teeth lip flop based light. Fully constructed by that redstone contraption that we just built by placing in the items inside these holes. Now that's cool. That's really cool. It's like a pipeline of blocks being pushed around here to all be constructed in this area. And I especially like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. I've said fantastic far too many times in today's video, which I guess could only be considered a good thing. Anyway, moving on from that one, Stubborn Stingy has built a self-building, self-building machine. I mean, to start off with, that's, that's completely ridiculous. All we have to do is hit this button right here, and that will activate this thing, and as you can see, it is, it's, it's quite a big redstone circuit. So what we have is we've got a cobblestone generator which is generating the blocks which are pushing all of these pistons along. And these pistons all need to be pushed across into this area right here. So we should see that when these pistons fill up these piston walls, they will extend pushing those across. Now what we need to do is we need to fill up this area here with glass and pistons. So once that's done, I'll catch you in a sec. Although I gotta say, it's it's not exactly the fastest redstone contraption in the world. It takes a long time to fill up a big area with hundreds upon hundreds of pistons relying on a cobblestone generator as your redstone clock. Anyway, here it comes. The last pistons are making their way through, so once that piston reaches the end, these pistons will push across, and then everything should kick into action. So the water is flowing out, these carpets should all explode off in the next couple seconds. Yep, that's looking good. And then here goes... Up it pops. I'm sure you're starting to recognize a familiar face here. And there we go. So that was, let me just reiterate, that was a self-building, self-building mumbo. We've got two levels of self-building there, which, I mean, let's be totally honest, that's got to be applauded. How, how could I not applaud that? That's, that's brilliant. This one, I just applaud for its creativity. I just think it's a really funny redstone idea. Here we have my T2 VW camper van. It's a little bit less blocky in real life, but this is a fairly accurate representation. And here we have the Laughing Derp Lerps self-building redstone contraption. So if we hit this button right here, the tire replacer machine builder 20,000, not 2,000, 20,000 should kick into gear. So there we go. This thing is all coming together. We should see some observers are going to get pushed across at some point. There they come. And we kind of have like a claw sort of mechanism being produced. <laughs> but that's what it looks like. Now to actually activate the tire replacer, the first thing that I have to do is I have to put a spare tire into the machine. So there we go. There is my broken down tire. As you can see, it's not looking particularly good. And the way that I activate this thing, which is going to make Iskal very happy, is to break this diorite block. And there we go. Old tire has been replaced. New tire has been fitted. And now the T2 is ready to head off on adventures and, and travel everywhere. Last but most certainly not least, Glowing Golem has created probably one of the most ridiculous 3x3 piston doors I've ever seen. As you can see here, we've got ourselves a completely flat area. When we hit this button, that all changes. Pistons pop up, but most importantly, a flying machine comes up and just delivers the top half of the circuitry and then just flies off into the distance. I personally don't fully understand how they have managed to pull that off. Like, it, it really doesn't make much sense to me. But what is cool is that obviously it functions perfectly. Look, here is closing. There it is, three by three piston door. And then when we hit this button once again, everything opens up. Now it's it's not 100% perfect. Obviously we do have some slime blocks and debris left over from the flying machine itself. So I guess you could say that it's only a three by three door in this area. We do have some blocks behind it, but I don't care because that is such a satisfying thing to watch. When I first watched this on YouTube, when I saw this video come up, I actually started laughing because it's one of those things. It looks so strange seeing something like this just pop up out of the ground. 
I just didn't expect it. I didn't expect it to work. It's crazy. So, massive, massive thank you to everyone that submitted their builds into the self-building redstone contraption video contest type thing. It was a lot of fun. I seriously was not expecting the response that we got with it. I have been, I have been completely blown away. So I can't wait to do more of this sort of stuff in the future. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later. <laughs>